The gadget is factor. Okay guys, for this simple job, all you're gonna need, you're gonna need your transmitter, of course, you're gonna need the programming board, and you're gonna need a screwdriver. That's it. Now this screwdriver, <laughs> you know how when you buy quads, they come with screwdrivers, you start to accumulate these things. I probably, I don't know how many of these things I have, but this one came with the tarantula, I think. And this is always my go-to. This is like the best screwdriver um, that's been included with a quadcopter, man. This thing is great. I mean, it, it's just, all right, anyway. <laughs> okay, so here's the site. Uh, Smarty Pants or Smarty Parts. <laughs> Uh, and this is where I purchased the uh, the programming board and it gives you instructions. There's pictures right here This is what I'm going to follow. It's very very simple. So this is what I'm going to be following to uh, To install this uh, into my uh, 9x. All right, so let's get into this okay, So obviously the first thing I did was remove the uh, the battery So I did that I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, my FR sky module out of there as well and I'm just going to unscrew the, I think there's only six screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I'm going to get those uh, unscrewed and get this uh, open and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So once you get, get all the screws out, um, you want to be very careful when you open up the 9X uh, because there is a, uh, a connection here that you uh, want to remove. So you don't want to just rip this thing off. You want to go ahead and remove that uh, connector from the board very carefully so I'm gonna go ahead and do that there we go alright so I am going to go ahead and move this to the side and there is the innards uh, of the 9x okay okay so based on the photographs um, the board is going to fit right in here and you can essentially use the uh, screw points as your guide so there's two screws here there's uh, one here and one here uh, so I'm gonna place it in right there now on the back of the board there are these uh, contact points and you're just gonna take these little uh, protectors off but there's five contact points here and based on the position um, where you screw them in they're going to make the contact um, with the board in the appropriate place so there's one contact point there there's another there's another there's another and there's another I think that's five so so yeah <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now uh, and I'll see you on the other side of that Okay, so I went ahead and removed the screws that were in the 9X uh, in those uh, positions that I uh, just pointed out. Uh, I'm going to replace those with some longer screws that came with the 9X programming board uh, just to accommodate the additional um, thickness of the board. Okay, so we have that screwed in now. Uh, so it, it should be in the proper position and those contacts, uh, sh uh, contact points should be making contact in the proper uh, place. Sorry about the focusing there. Um, so what we have to do now is we have to run this cable through this slot in the battery bay, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, that cable is gonna route through here um, to, in order to connect to this um, micro USB port Come on, focus. Here. That's even worse. Sorry. Come on. Okay, so anyway, that's a micro USB um, port that's going to, it just slides right into that uh, area of the battery bay. The, uh, that little red cable is going to plug right in here. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. See, it just slides right in there, okay? Very easy. And it feels like it's pretty snug, so I don't, I don't think I'll need to put any glue or anything like that in there at this point. Okay, I'm finding that the best way to do this is to go ahead and connect the red cable to that um, micro USB uh, board first, and then go ahead and route it through 
that battery base slot. It is big enough to fit through there. So just to make it easy, go ahead and do that and then run it through. Okay, so I got that through there. And now I am just going to, sorry if I, you can't see it due to my hand, but I'm just gonna push it down in that slot and just position it a little bit. And I think we are in good shape. Now, I think I will go ahead and put, um, I think I will go ahead and put some double-sided tape in here um, because it is moving around a little bit just to keep it in position and uh, because it does slide so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, so give me one second here okay should only need just a little piece maybe about there all right I actually think I need to cut down that cut that down just a little bit more like so okay so that looks good and that should not move around at all all right so I think I'm ready now to go ahead and screw everything back in screw in all the screws get everything put back together I'll power it up and then uh, the next step will be downloading ER uh, 9x uh, I think that's the one I'm gonna go with and uh, take it from there. Okay, I got everything uh, reattached and uh, got the screws back in. And uh, there is our new micro USB programming port. Um, battery should still be able to fit in here okay. Yep, looks like it's, uh, it's gonna fit okay. I'll just have to move the wires around a little bit, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything back in. Okay, everything's back in. Let's power it up. And we are good to go. So this is the current uh, stock operating system. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's not my favorite uh, thing to use. Um, I don't find it to be very user friendly. I mean, it works once you figure out how to use it. <clears throat> but uh, outside of that, you definitely can make improvements by updating the operating system. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Okay, so I um, think I'm gonna call an audible here. I have uh, gone out and uh, downloaded the drivers. Uh, there's several steps to this process. Uh, and I've kind of started the process and uh, I'm kind of gathering the, some of the information that I need. Here is the ER9X uh, website where you can go and grab the, um, the link to the software that you need to uh, right click and save. Uh, then there's EEPE. This is actually the uh, installation program, I believe, that you're going to go ahead and open up and then pull this file into. Uh, there's a pretty thorough manual out there, uh, but I think I need to do a little more research. So I have my 9X uh, set up to, you know, it has my arm switch, my throttle cut switch. It has my um, three position switch. I have my sub trims. I have everything set up well. Um, ER9X is supposed to be a more intuitive software, but it still will need to be set up. So. Uh, while I learn all of those things prior to making this change to my operating system and therefore deleting everything that I've already um, programmed into my um, 9X, I'm going to wait. So uh, just a little bit of pivot with this uh, uh, video. I think this uh, process uh, will require one single dedicated video all to itself. There's so many different components and I don't think there's one video out on YouTube or anywhere else, anywhere else that walks you through the process step by step. And there are quite a few steps when we're talking quadcopter. Um, several years ago when this was developed, it was probably geared more so towards um, RC planes, at least that's my presumption, because I just can't find very much on setting up a quadcopter uh, in terms of a step-by-step. -step. The manual was laid out well, 
but again I'm just still very hesitant so uh, I still have to get that uh, QS 90C review and test flight up so I'm going to hold it. Go. Well, uh, once again, guys, thanks so much for stopping by the Gadget Inspector channel and uh, checking out the Two Box Tuesday session. Uh, we will be back next week. Um, not real sure what we're going to talk about yet, but I will come up with something. So I'll see you there. As always, please subscribe. Hit me with a like on the video. Share this with anybody you think it might help. Uh, and um, we'll talk again in the next video. Later.